Okay. Uh, this is Sunday, and normally, uh, because we're trying to catch up with our fish, we'll be working fish, but we decided to take a break from it today. And instead, I'm uh, working on uh, growing cuttings from our 100, let's see, 100 and some odd year old fig tree. It was planted in 1908 by my great grandfather, and later on we'll do a segment on it. Uh, it has some, uh, there are some cuttings, clones that are growing by our warehouse. And on a whim, uh, a few weeks ago, I took this cutting, dropped it uh, into the gutter, floor gutter like that, and it started sprouting. And it grew roots, but something, as you can tell, ate the bark off and the roots. Still has green growing tips. I'm going to give this guy another chance. Uh, came up with a way to, uh, to do large numbers of them. I think it's the mystery snails eating the, the bark. Because when I picked this up, there were two little mystery snails on it. Uh, it could be, uh, prior to that, it could have been feral and cistrus. Uh, they uh, eat the strangest things. This plant is uh, Beffenbachia. Uh, which, if you get the sap on you, the, touching the leaves doesn't hurt anything, but if you get the sap, it's worse than, on your skin, it's worse than poison ivy. And, and cistrus and placostomus eat the stalks. If you throw a stalk in the water, they'll eat it. But I, I was blaming the cistrus, but since I picked this up, I think it might be the mystery snails eating the, the bark, which is interesting because mystery snails aren't supposed to be, or herbivores are supposed to be, uh, that they apparently eat uh, phytoplankton stuff you know, growing on algae, but something's eating it. So I came up with this uh, idea of uh, using styrofoam, and we got we got a piece of styrofoam, which I'll show you in a minute, uh, that have nice little round holes and would be great for pots. But I, since this thing rooted uh, well, just sitting in water, I'm going to take a whole bunch of cuttings. There's quite a bit of demand for that the fig tree. It's, it's an ever-bearing brown fig, uh, blooms or bears fruit from May through July and sporadically into November, but most of it coming off in June and July. Uh, but our local birds like it. Uh, but while I was working on this, I noticed uh, a spider. It's a Dolomites species, which that genus has some like a hundred species that range from North America, around Europe, Asia, even New Zealand has species. Uh, and so I don't know which Dolomites it is. I've been calling them diving spiders because they trap air around uh, their abdomens and can dive down in the water. You know, we catch them in the bats fairly frequently. Uh, but another common name I've noticed is... Uh, Fish-eating spider and uh, raft spider, uh, they can walk on water, skate on water. And I guess that's why they call it raft spiders. Anyway, there's this neat female with holding her egg case, and I was going to film her, and then I decided, well, I'll talk about the, the uh, uh, eggs at the same time. So we're going to walk down this walkway and hope she's still there. Very careful. She be very careful on the walkway. Take a little bit longer than the other. Okay, so you can see the spider on the center block. See if you can zoom in and get in close. She's holding an egg case in the lab. They're well established in the uh, in the greenhouses. I don't know if they eat any fish, but if they do, it's fairly minor. Okay, so that's our Dolomites email with an egg case. Now we're going to go down here where I'm working on the figs. I set up four bats and I cut these pieces of styrofoam with these nice little inserts. I'm going to put this guy in there, make sure he gets in the water good. 
And then I'm going to take a bunch of other cuttings uh, and uh, let those float. I have netted out the generis and the you know, studs and these bats because you know, studs in high populations will eat plants, especially roots. I'm hoping that, uh, that I got enough of them out. But I'm going to try to get a bunch of cuttings, get them, get them rooted, and figs root best on you know, from dormant wood and root. And our spring is just starting, the buds are just starting to, uh, to break, so I'm hoping I'm giving them time. I want to get a whole bunch of cuttings so that I can get a little bit a big orchard that I can use uh, our surplus water in the factory to fish water the figs. Anyway, that's it. Good fish keeping, good spider keeping. See you all later.